Good morning, Facebook family and friends. Um, today's Sunday, and I'm sitting here listening to one of my favorite gospel artists, which is um, Mary Mary, and the song is God in Me. That's one of my favorite songs. I love this song. I listen to it all the time at the gym when I'm working out. And it's a very inspirational song for me. I'm not really a very religious person. I believe in God, but I'm not really the type of person to sit around and spend a great deal of time um, with religion. So religion for me is complicated. Even God, I have a problem with the Bible, but you know, I, I love listening to inspirational music like this to get my day started. I think sometimes people misunderstand a lot of stuff that I do, a lot of stuff that I post, a lot of stuff that I say. And they don't understand where I'm coming from. I don't understand where, what my thoughts are about certain things. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, uh, I did a video about Tyler Perry, someone I happen to know, I've known for years, um, we've been friends for years. And I think some people misunderstood that video. I think I think that video was very misunderstood by, by a lot of people, gay, straight, black, white, whatever. I think some people think that I was trying to put Tyler Perry on blast, which is insane. I don't, because let, let me tell you why. I'm 43 years of age. I'm a black gay man. I've been gay all my life. Been gay since I was a little kid in preschool. Um, for me, being gay, is a, it's just like being black. It's just like me having this big nose, these big lips, these black eyes, this bald head. It's a part of me. I'm not ashamed of this nose. I'm not ashamed of these lips. I'm not ashamed of these eyes. And I'm definitely not ashamed to say I ain't got no hair on top of this bald head. It's all gone. I am black, gay, and proud. I love who I am, and I love how God, how God made me. Um, but some people seem to think that I was putting Tyler Perry on blast by discussing his sexuality. The reason why Tyler Perry and I are really not friends even to this day is because Tyler Perry was uncomfortable with his sexuality, and he didn't want anyone to know. And I was sitting there, me and him got into a very heated discussion at a restaurant many years ago, more than 10 years ago, and after that discussion, we really kind of distanced ourselves. So I'd see, I'd see him and say hello. He'd see me and say hello. I, I, was on, I, didn't, I couldn't understand how someone could be dislike themselves so much that they would hide who they were from everyone. And, you know, and, I, and I'm learning that a lot of black gay men are just not comfortable with who they are. They're not proud of who they are. They're not happy with who they are. And this is sad. Very, very sad. See... I can't change who I am. Now, if I wanted to give it this big black nose, yeah, I could run and go see a bunch of plastic surgeons in here, put a little pug nose right here, do something. If I could probably do something to my lips and, you know, and I, can, and I probably can lighten my skin and look white. But I'm still going to be a black man. You can't pray away the gay. You can't wish it away. A psychiatrist can't change it. People are born gay. Black people have got to be stopped being so ignorant and stupid about sexuality. We've got to stop letting religion dictate our lives in concerns to sexuality. Now, Tyler Perry was worried and concerned that his fans would not support him if they found out his true sexuality that he was gay. Well, Shit, everybody I know know he gay. My family members, my friends, we all go see and support his movies. Uh, I, I'm not even, I don't, there's, some of this stuff, some people who go through these issues with their sexuality, some of the stuff is unwarranted. Some of the fears are not really warranted. Are there ignorant people out there? Hell yes, there's a whole bunch of ignorant ass black Americans who do not unsexual, do not understand sexuality. They don't get it. You can't make them get it. But we're coming around. I think we're making good strides in the black community. 
I think that we've come a long way in the black community dealing with homosexuality and sexuality issues in our community. Do we have a long way to go? Do I think Tyler Perry can make things easier for black gay men and lesbians in our community? I do. I really do. He's in a position to help, not hinder. I'm not putting Tyler Perry on blast. That was not the intentions of my video to hurt or harm. I can't hurt or harm a multi-billionaire. Give me a, a break. I can't hurt Tyler Perry. The only person I can hurt Tyler Perry is Tyler Perry. I can't do anything to Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, there, there have been discussions about Tyler Perry's sexuality forever. Tyler Perry was in the gay clubs dealing with gay people long before I met him. Nothing, you know, he still has gay people on his staff, or if he hasn't got rid of most of the gay people that were working for him. I, you know, that's another video. However, I'm happy being gay and proud to be gay. I'm not concerned about trying to put somebody on blast or hurt somebody. That's just, it ain't even in my heart. That's just not the type of person I am. I got a lot of love in my heart and concern for people. So when I was discussing Tyler Perry's sexuality, it's not like, oh, I'm going to drag Tyler from the closet. Hell, he was never in the closet. He was more private about it, which is kind of, again, to me, at this stage in the game, Tyler got millions. Millions, I know he, I know he probably still wants millions more. Millions, billions, probably a billion bucks in the bank. I would hope so for his sake. I ain't got nothing but love. I don't have nothing but love in my heart for Tyler Perry. And I'm not jealous of Tyler Perry. People say, oh, you must be jealous. Why would I be jealous of Tyler Perry? Why? I'm happy that a black man is being successful. I'm not even more happy that it's a black gay man who's been having this tremendous success. I would like to see Tyler Perry just take a little bit. Uh, spend a little bit more time in the community from which he came from, the community that he may not see himself as being a part of anymore. Sometimes black folks get money and we put ourselves in loftier places in our minds that, oh, I'm not this type of person anymore. And we walk away from our these communities. And, we, and these communities still need our help, especially a community that's still... Um, and dying, the, the black gay community needs just some problems in the black gay community. It's a lot of, I could be here all day discussing the serious problems within our community, but we got an HIV problem that just is not, we can't get it under control. We've got a problem with, God, these guys, the, the download thing. Why are these men marrying these women, hiding who they are? And it's still happening today, still. And those men who marry create some very serious problems there. And these women, are, I'm sure these women are not happy being known it from finding out their husband is gay. It's not a good thing to know unless they're, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Every woman I've ever met that found out her husband was gay, she went on a rampage and, and you know, because it's a very devastating thing to hear that you have a husband that you cannot sexually satisfy, ever. What was his marriage based on? Pack of lies. It's sad. And too many black guys, too many black gay guys are getting, falling into this marriage trap because they, you know, they're successful, they have a career, they have income, they have jobs. And these women see them and they don't know that these men are gay. They just think this is a good, successful looking black man. They, they All they see is a success, successful brother with a college education and a degree. They don't know he's gay. Until after they've married and had five children and they find out his ass been sneaking around all over town fucking every nigga. Hmm. However, back to the thing. I have no ill will in a, at all. Church. And I think that a lot of people who were making these comments are not happy with who they are. When you see gay folks saying, oh, you out at somebody. You, you, I'm thinking... You gay yourself, and you sitting over here mad because somebody, a truthful statement was stated about someone? What's your problem? A truthful statement? No one's trying to hurt or harm somebody. That's ridiculous. But I see that there's so much inner hate and confusion in the black gay community. That's it's sad. When can people be happy who they are? Thank God I am. I am black gay and proud, and if you don't like it, you can kiss my black ass. 
I don't worry myself about what people think about my sexuality. And like I said from the beginning of this video, this is the way I was born. Gay people are born this way. And I don't care what you all think. I mean, unless you walk in, in a black gay man's shoes or in any, in any gay person's shoes, then you don't have a clue what's going on in my mind about my sexuality. You can only sit across the room and stare and try to figure it out. And I'm staring back at you trying to figure out why you got them high heel shoes on and them tight ass jeans. So we're going to stare at each other trying to figure things out instead of coming together and talking and trying to figure it out and, you know, understand each other. See, I have a lot of, like I said, I have a lot of love in my heart. So I'm not trying to hurt or harm anyone. Those of you who see these videos as negative, you need to take a look in the mirror and look in your own heart. Don't look at mine. Look at your own. There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with Tyler Perry being gay. There's nothing wrong with anyone who's dealing with sexuality issues. The problem is the hate that we receive from other members of our own community. You guys need to learn to love yourself. And love have God made you. And if you don't feel that God made you that way, then I don't know what else to tell you. Because he's the only person I know that's responsible for birthing babies into this world. There's too much hate, ignorance, and confusion. A lot of it brought on by religion. Mm, it's tough. Because black folks refuse to walk away from these churches that condemn their asses to hell. I don't go to church. I tried it. I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. So, <clears throat> so I didn't really grow up in an environment of um, church to me. The black church experience to me is kind of bizarre. Because there are things going on in the church, yelling and screaming, the ripping and running, the choir. There's a lot of stuff going on in there that does not compute to me with my experiences as growing up in, as a Jehovah's Witness. So I, I would have to attend a very conservative church, and it'd be very boring, sort of. So, but so for me, religion is just not on. Religion is a problem for me. But I think it's great that some, some people go and attend church. Go knock yourself out. But I think we all have to stop at the end of the day in understanding that being gay is something that no one has any control over. You can't pray it away. You can't change it. You cannot move. You can't. It's just not going to happen. You have some people who run around saying that they used to be gay, but they're still gay. I met this guy many years ago. Said he was he was no longer gay, had got a wife, got married, had children. You're somebody I used to know who was out in the clubs, partying, dancing on the speakers in the early 90s. All of a sudden, late 90s, early 2000s, she was married, had a wife, had children. Guess what that man is doing today? Back at the gay clubs, dancing on that speaker at 40-something years of age. It's like he's trying to make up for lost time. You can't change it, guys. I don't know why you all seem to think that you can hide it and change it and what you're so ashamed about. You better learn to love yourself. I love Walter. I am black, gay, and proud. Ain't too much I can do about that, but be happy. This video is a little longer than usual. I was too, just wanted to get that off my chest because I'm reading all these comments on the internet that I was a hater, I was jealous, I was trying to brain Tyler Perry down because he gay. Come on, guys, wake up. And this was coming from a gay community. Fuck them straight people. I ain't got time for them ignorant ass straight folks. They ignorant as hell any damn way. It's coming from gay folks. I'm like, oh, okay, now wait a minute. You bringing somebody down because you gay? But you gay. Black gay folks need to, we need psychic. We need, they need to set up psychiatric therapy centers in the black community and put them on every corner. It needs to be a church right next to a psychiatric care unit. So you can run from church and then go see your psychiatrist to get rid of that bullshit you just learned in church. Church, psychiatric care unit, and a liquor store. So you can have your drink right after you leave that psychiatrist just so you can calm on down and say, damn, that psychiatrist got my ass together. And let me mellow out at home with this wine. That's what they need. Instead of a church in every corner, you need a church, psychiatric therapy, clinic, clinic, centers, mental health clinics, right next door, and a liquor store. And America would be a much better place. 
Anyway, you guys, enjoy your Sunday. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. I think I'm a, either I'm going to go get some breakfast or I'm going to cook some breakfast. It's still early. I got to figure it out. I'm trying to decide. I don't feel like the kitchen is so nice and clean. I hate to go in there and make a colossal mess. I might just go get me some breakfast at IHOP. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.